astronauts who took part in the most recent mission to the International Space Station have splashed down safely off the coast of Florida. Ready to trade a 14-hour flight for a 60-minute rocket ride? That's right, the future of travel is not just fast, it's out of this world. We're diving into the companies and technologies that are turning sci-fi dreams into tomorrow's vacation plans. Let's take a peek into the world of SpaceX, the company that's making space travel as common as catching a flight to another city. They want to create a future where you can hop on a rocket and be on the other side of the world in minutes, or even take a weekend trip to Mars. First up, let's talk about Falcon 9, SpaceX's workhorse. These rockets are like the Teslas of space. Sleek, efficient, and reusable. Yeah, you heard that right, reusable. In the past, rockets were single-use items. They'd go up, do their job, and their parts would fall into the ocean never to be used again. SpaceX has changed that game entirely. They're not into the whole one-and-done rocket launches. They're all about recycling, and we're not talking about plastic bottles here. The Falcon 9 booster recently flew for the 16th time, and they're not stopping there. They're aiming to reuse these bad boys up to 20 times. Now, if Falcon 9 is the Tesla, then Starship is the Rolls-Royce of space travel. Designed to be fully and rapidly reusable, Starship is not just a spacecraft, it's a transportation system. It consists of two main components, a massive first stage booster, called Super Heavy, and a 165-foot tall upper stage, known simply as Starship. This system is engineered to carry not just satellites and payloads, but also up to 100 people. And it's not just about going to space, Starship aims to revolutionize travel right here on Earth. Alright, so we've been talking about SpaceX and how they're basically the rock stars of the space world, but hey, they're not the only ones aiming for the stars. Also in the run is Blue Origin, the brainchild of none other than Jeff Bezos. Yeah, the Amazon guy. He's not just about next day deliveries, he's also into delivering people to the edge of space. So what's the scoop with Blue Origin? They've got this incredible spacecraft called New Shepard. This spacecraft is designed to take a capsule to the edge of space. Once there, passengers can experience about five minutes of microgravity before the capsule returns to Earth, aided by parachutes. Sounds like a roller coaster in the sky, doesn't it? But hold on, it's not all smooth sailing, or should I say smooth flying. Blue Origin has had its ups and downs, literally. About a year ago, one of their new Shepard rockets experienced a significant engine failure just over a minute into the flight. It led to an explosion over the West Texas desert. Thankfully, the capsule's escape system functioned as it should, safely landing the capsule back on Earth. No one was on board, so a crisis was skillfully avoided. Now, you might be wondering, is this going to be a crewed mission? Well, that's the million-dollar question. Blue Origin has been pretty tight-lipped about their plans. But one thing's for sure, they're not out of the game. They've got two different New Shepard systems, one for science missions and another for human flights. So whether it's sending experiments or people to the edge of space, Blue Origin is all in. So we've been diving into the world of SpaceX and Blue Origin, but there's another name you've got to know, Virgin Galactic. Founded by Sir Richard Branson, this company is your ticket to the edge of space without leaving Earth's orbit. It's the ultimate joyride for anyone who's ever looked up at the sky and wondered. Now, about their spaceship too. Think of it as the sports car of space vessels. It takes you up 50 miles, just enough to kiss the edge of space. For a few minutes, you're weightless, floating like you're in a dream, and the Earth below looks like a beautiful blue marble. It's not just a trip, it's an experience that shifts your perspective. Here's where it gets exciting. Virgin Galactic isn't just talking, they're flying. They opened a new flight window on September 8, 2023, marking their fourth space flight in just four months. And the crew? They're not newbies. They're the original ticket holders from way back in 2005. These folks have been waiting for this moment, and now it's finally here. But let's keep it real. Virgin Galactic had to push back their planes a bit, thanks to some supply chain and labor hiccups. But they've sorted it out and are back in the game, stronger than ever. And it's not just these companies that are excited. NASA is also eyeing these commercial suborbital flights. They're thinking about sending their own astronauts and gear on these quick trips. Now let's break down what that could look like for an average person, not just the super rich or astronauts. Imagine a business person who frequently travels from New York to Tokyo. Right now, that's a flight that can take upwards of 14 hours, not to mention the time you spend in airports for layovers, security checks, and so on. Now, instead of spending almost an entire day in transit, you could potentially make that trip in under an hour with a suborbital flight. 
You'd board a spacecraft, ascend to the edge of Earth's atmosphere, and then descend back down to your destination. It's like the Concorde jet, but on steroids. And it's not just about speed, it's about the experience. During that brief trip, you'd experience a few minutes of weightlessness, floating in your seat as you gaze down at Earth from a vantage point most people have never seen. It's not just travel, it's an adventure. But it's not all smooth sailing. There are challenges to consider, like safety. The spacecraft would need to meet rigorous safety standards, especially if they're going to be part of our everyday lives. NASA is even considering a certification process to make sure the suborbital vehicles are up to snuff. And then there's the cost. Right now, the price tag for such a trip is astronomical, no pun intended. But companies are working on making it more affordable, aiming to bring it within reach for more people. So while we're not there yet, the wheels are in motion to make this a reality. Companies are investing, tests are being conducted, and slowly but surely, the future of travel is being redefined. It's like we're on the cusp of a new era. One where our travel options aren't just limited to where we can drive or fly, but where we can rock it off to. So, suborbital flights could get you from one side of Earth to the other in a flash. But what if you want to go even further? What if your next vacation isn't just over the ocean, but above the atmosphere? That's right, we're talking about orbital vacations. What if, instead of booking a week at a beach resort, you're reserving a room at the International Space Station? Companies like Boeing, SpaceX, and Axiom Space are already laying the groundwork for this. They're not just planning to send astronauts and scientists to the ISS, they're planning to send tourists. And we're not just talking about a quick trip up and down. These could be extended stays, where you're not just a visitor, you're a temporary resident of space. And it doesn't stop at the ISS. There's talk about building infrastructure for orbital and even lunar-based hotels. Picture waking up, pulling back the curtains, and seeing the Earth rise over the horizon of the moon. That's a room with a view that no Earth-bound hotel can match. But of course, a trip to space isn't like a road trip down the highway. There are some serious considerations to think about, especially when it comes to safety and regulations. Before you can even set foot on a spacecraft, you'll have to go through training and medical screenings. And yes, you'll probably have to sign a mountain of liability waivers. This isn't a spur-of-the-moment kind of trip, it's something you need to prepare for, both physically and mentally. So while the idea of vacationing in orbit might sound like something out of a sci-fi novel, it's closer to reality than you might think. Well, if you ask me, we're on the cusp of something monumental. The strides being made in reusability, safety, and affordability are not just impressive, they're revolutionary. And the numbers back it up. The appetite for space tourism is set to skyrocket, with forecasts showing a remarkable 38.6% compound annual growth rate up to 2023. In terms of dollars and cents, this means the industry could hit a valuation close to 13.2 billion US dollars within the next 10 years. That's not pocket change, that's a full-blown economic powerhouse in the making. So whether it's a quick jaunt to the edge of space or an extended stay at an orbital hotel, the sky is no longer the limits, it's just the beginning. And speaking of beginnings, if you're intrigued by what the future holds beyond our planet, you won't want to miss our other video on China's plans to colonize the moon. Trust me, it's a story you'll want to hear.